Welcome back into the film room presented by Cover One. If you haven't done so already, make sure to subscribe, like, and leave us a comment after today's video. It goes a long way for all of our creators at Cover One. In today's episode, we are going to be highlighting a player the Bills have met with according to Justin Mello of the Draft Network, and that's tight end Tommy Tremble from Notre Dame. One of my favorite areas to study in all of football is tight end blocking. It's an area where most young tight ends struggle, but it's Tremble's strength. The 20-year-old redshirt sophomore registered very little production in the passing game over the last three years due to some talented receivers and tight ends at Notre Dame. But you could argue that he was the most athletic tight end at the university. His lack of production in their passing game and primary utilization as a blocker in line, offline, and in the backfield shouldn't hurt his stock all that much. Treble may have inherited the physical blocking tight end role in South Bend, but you can tell it's in his nature. And my dad kind of taught me that. He's like, never be scared of contact. The more, the more you're scared you are, the more hurt you're going to be. You know, making a great block, moving one person from point A to point B is better, better if not the same as scoring a touchdown for me. I love doing that. Who wants to, who wants to play some real football, smash mouth football? I love that. That unselfish attitude and mentality isn't easy to find in sports today. And it's very tough to find it in a player with the athleticism of Tremble. So often, tight ends are just oversized receivers nowadays. Weapons in the passing game that need to be taught the lost art of blocking or even just to be physical. That's not Tremble. Tremble seeks out contact. He plays with that dog mentality, that South Buffalo scrappiness that Buffalo loves. Irish alum and college football analyst Aaron Taylor nailed down the type of player that Tremble is on the field. He is such a prick. I love this kid. He plays the game the way it's supposed to be played, absolutely flattens the defender. He does this on a regular basis. That's what happens when you don't keep your head up near the blue line, if you ask me. Looking to respond. Oh! Campbell just destroyed Umbers. Tremble's athleticism and in-your-face mentality will give offensive coordinators the green light to use him in their spread run game concepts. He has the speed to work across the formation in a timely fashion and the physicality needed to overwhelm defenders. There will be times where his head placement is incorrect or he comes in hot and can be shucked aside but he consistently attaches to his assignment and lets his footwork and athleticism take over to keep the defender covered up. But where Tremble will be the biggest asset to an offensive run game is as a blocker on the perimeter and out in space. He targets his assignments well while at full speed, delivers big hits, or simply takes the defender for a ride. The type of effort and finish that can boost a run from a few yards into an explosive run. His run blocking is very reminiscent of TJ Hawkinson when he came out of Iowa a couple years back. He latches on and works through the whistle, breaking defender's spirits. But as a receiver, there are some areas that Tremble needs to improve on, such as reading the leverage of defenders and coverages. At times, he isn't completely sure how to set up a defender in order to come out of the top of the route with advantageous leverage. You would like to see him read the back end of the secondary better and understand how to adjust his route stem against the different safety rotations. I saw several instances on film of him running routes into safeties where usually the routes would be adjusted based on the safety's alignment. On this play, generally there will be a route adjustment to either run a post or over route across the face of the safety to get his attention or just straight convert it to a dig route altogether. But he just looks lost to me. Similar concept here. The coverage changes from a two high look to a one high look and he doesn't run his route with conviction. Did he know the coverage and the appropriate route adjustment to that coverage? As he learns coverages and the accompanying route adjustments, he will get a lot more looks in the passing game and earn the trust of his quarterback. His fluidity, speed, and flashes of sharp cuts on in and out breaking routes will make him a dangerous weapon at all levels of the field. But his athletic testing and reported 4-6 speed will have the attention of scouts. These are the sort of routes the Bills were missing from their tight ends. Routes by the nub tight ends that threaten the backside of coverages. His story probably sounds very similar to Dawson Knox, and it is. Like Knox, Tremble has a lot of untapped potential. Potential that we have only seen Knox slightly tap into. But I'm not sure that Tremble is the project that Knox was coming out of Ole Miss. I think Tremble is further along in his development and understanding of the position. Will the transition be a challenge for Tremble? Absolutely, it always is for tight ends. He will need to improve his play strength and coverage recognition. But bringing a similar type tight end isn't the wrong move. It grabs the attention of Knox because it brings competition in but it will also help the Bills' offense by allowing them to put them both on the field at the same time. The Bills will likely need a replacement for Lee Smith's blocking role if he chooses to retire. Tremble can easily fill that, but offer way more upside as a receiver. 
Trimble offers the versatility to line up at fullback on one play, then flex out wide on the next. The sort of flexibility that offensive coordinators love, especially if it can be had on late day two, early day three. Tremble's a dog, and you can never have too many of those on your team. Thanks for joining me in the film room. If you like this content, make sure to smash the like, subscribe, and bell button to be notified when our content drops.